Jake Bond Performance, introducing the V2 front mount intercooler for the Mark 7 and 7.5 GTI Golf R Golf. And basically the whole MQB lineup that has the steel core support. So this is a 550 horse rated unit. Um, my regular V1 intercooler, I rate at 450 horsepower. This is based on years and years of testing across the country at different horsepower levels, different fueling, different tuners. So these are conservative numbers, what you can expect to keep cool um, with the same cooling to driving style ratio you'd expect with a stage two car. So I always tell people two to 12 degrees over ambient on a, a typical, you know, 70 to 95 degree day and a third to fourth gear cool. So what that means is when the intercooler is actually working, pulling the charge air from the turbo, the intercooler is doing its job with good cross flow and high boost that third and fourth gear pull. Now obviously it could be vastly different if you're just sitting in traffic or whatever, but when the intercooler is actually doing intercooler things, two to 12 degrees is uh, the range you should be looking at. Like I said, up to 550 horsepower with this unit. It's 808 cubic inches versus my V1 unit, which is the largest front mount intercooler you can fit on these cars without doing any bumper trimming, is 661 cubic inches. So as you can see here, the crash bar does need to be cut. Um, I'm not gonna get in there nice and tight. So I'm not gonna play uh, insurance gambler here you'd be installing this on your race car at your own risk this obviously isn't dot crash rated or anything like that um, there is still plenty of structural integrity left these crash bars are super sturdy and obviously you're adding some structure back with this super beefy three and a half inch core and uh 60 61 aluminum mounts I'll, I'll get in there with the camera and show you the finer details of that. Um, we're also replacing the hood latch support bracket. And there will be photos at the end of the video. But I just wanted to introduce this. It's been a long time coming. Uh, with COVID, there's been all kinds of shortages and delays as far as materials and scheduling conflicts. So um, glad to see it finally come to fruition. And uh, the V3 intercooler will be next on the to-do list. It'll be yet another probably 20% larger than this and it'll have a DOM tubular crash bar to completely replace the OEM one. Um, that one should be rated for about eight, 900 horsepower. So um, don't get too worked up about it. 99.9% .9 ga of guys will never need that much headroom. This is way bigger than most people need. This is gonna be for guys that are fueling with uh, multi-port injection in the intake manifold. If your build doesn't require that to spool your turbo, just forget it. This is bigger than you need. The V1's the one for you. But if you are out there trying to break records, axles, hearts, all that fun stuff, this or the V3 will be what you're going to want. Uh, as I've been telling people for a long time, there's no better solution direct fit for front mount intercooler. Everybody's got their preference. Any intercooler is gonna be a vast improvement over stock, but for the guys hunting big horsepower, uh, having the front mount intercooler out in clean air, and obviously the overall volume of this core is gonna give you a great advantage. And yeah, so check out the photos at the end. We're gonna button this up, show you what it looks like with the bumper cover on, and we'll do a follow-up video after we get some performance specs and feedback. He's still waiting on his bigger turbo, so we're not gonna have anything um, really to show you as far as pushing the core until that happens, but there will be follow-up videos, so. All right, let's throw the bumper on. So just to wrap it up, the bumper cover is on. No trimming of the bumper cover required. These two clamps are flipped because of the proximity to the AC line, just to keep it keep them from damaging anything. As you can see, you can see the intercooler 
through the bottom hole in the bumper that most people don't realize is there. Everything fits in there nice and snug like it should. No interference. I'm jealous of the wheels and the fitment on this thing. So I'll grab a few more pictures of it outside if it's done raining. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in ordering one of these, my email is jlb as in bravo, a-u-n as in november, 26 at gmail.com. Um, these will always be built to order, so please don't ask if they're in stock. They'll never be in stock. <laughs> um, and if you've got aftermarket charge pipes, I can do everything I can to accommodate those like I did here. Um, so I've got options to mate it to the factory or aftermarket charge pipes. Within reason, some brands take their own separate path where they will not play nice with a front mount intercooler. But yeah, uh, questions, comments, concerns, hit me up below. Thanks for watching.